Hi, my name is Caroline Dunn, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up SSH on your Raspberry Pi 5 or Raspberry Pi 4. And why do you need to set up an SSH? Well, if you know your terminal commands and you don't want the full desktop, you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi and run those terminal commands. And I'll show you just how to do that in this video. Now let's get started. In order to enable SSH, the first thing you need is to know your IP address. There are multiple ways you can do this. Mouse over to your Wi-Fi connection and you'll see your Wi-Fi and then you'll see your IP address. My IP address in this scenario is 10.0.0.219. Other ways of doing so is to open up a terminal and you can type in host name space dash capital I and your IP address will be shown or as I like to do it, ifconfig and you'll see your IP address right here. Three different ways to find your IP address so that you can access it from your other computer. And now I interrupt this video to recommend that you reserve an IP address for your Raspberry Pi. If your router is defaulted to DHCP, that means your IP addresses are assigned dynamically. In a scenario where you have a total reboot, potentially your Raspberry Pi might be assigned a different IP address. How you go about doing that varies from router to router. I'd recommend Google searching the brand of router that you have and how to reserve an IP address. Now there are multiple ways to enable SSH. From your terminal, you can type in sudo raspy config and I'm going to arrow down to interface options, hit enter, and then SSH is the first option. I'm gonna hit enter. By default, you'll see that SSH is turned off. I'm gonna hit the tab key to hit yes. I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna see my SSH server has been enabled. I'm gonna click enter for okay, and then I'm gonna tab over to finish, and then I'm gonna hit enter, and now the changes have been made. The other way of doing this is to click on your Raspberry Pi icon, mouse over to preferences, click on Raspberry Pi configuration, click on interfaces. By default, SSH is turned off. I'm gonna to toggle the key to turn on SSH and I'm gonna click OK. And now SSH has been enabled on my Raspberry Pi. Now on a MacBook, all you have to do is open a preloaded application called Terminal, and this is what's gonna open up on my terminal. Now if you're on a Windows computer, you'll have to download and install a computer program called Putty. I am not gonna use Putty, and here is what Terminal looks like on a MacBook. Since I know my IP address and I know the username that I set up when I created this Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna type in SSH Pi, which is what I set up as my username. You could have set up anything and the IP address and you saw this in the previous step 10.0.0.219 SSH into that. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? I'm going to type in S enter and then now need to know my password. This is the password I set up when I set up my Raspberry Pi and I am in. I have SSH into my Raspberry Pi I just showed you. I'm going to type in LS so you can see what's on there and I'm going to CD into desktop, just so you can see, LS, not much in there, CD space. And from here you can do a sudo app get update. You can update your Raspberry Pi from here. Perfect, it is done. Now when I'm done, SSH into my Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna hit exit. I'm now out of my Raspberry Pi. And that was how to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.